Happy Sunday, my Dolly friends. My name is Gina. Welcome to Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. I have with you today my Laura sculpt, who was done by Bonnie Brown, and I have named her Alyssa. And this is actually Alyssa Inez, and I love my Alyssa. Today is Sunday, and I just wanted to come on and have a chat. Um, I did change Alyssa, and she is participating in Sleepy Baby Sunday, which is brought to us by Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. And she, um, she is sleepy, and I have changed her. I prefer changing the babies a little bit off camera. Uh, I tend, when I do it on camera, I don't know. I'm just, I never feel comfortable and I feel like it's awkward. And I keep trying, but I'm not so good at it. So at any rate, we can also participate in uh, New Doll Clothes by J Dolls UK because, um, this is a brand new outfit. I have not, I've had it for a while, but I've not put it on any one of my babies. And this is from Carter's and it has a white background and, or kind of a cream background. It looks more white on camera, but it's actually kind of a cream. And it's got a very whimsical set of um, hot air balloons all on it. And I just love that. I love that the sleeves are sort of puffy to make it look more more feminine. The sleeves, you know, they've got some some puff to it. So, um, yeah, I I went ahead and picked this up for Alyssa. You can really see the hot air balloons nicely on her back, although her hair is a little. But I don't like to put anything but water on her because she's got that really soft all alpaca baby mohair. And it also will come out very easily. Um, I have discovered that in brushing her hair a little bit that apparently the brush I have, even when I just get the brush wet and it's a soft baby brush, it's uh, it can pull some of her hair out. So... I've stopped doing that and I just dampen it and use my fingers and um, anyway, but what I love about Alyssa too is, I mean, look at these hands. I mean, this is part of what, not only this darling face, but these hands, I just fell in love with the hands and then that one on, especially on her, um, what would be her right leg, the thigh muscle, it's, it, Bonnie Brown just sculpts so well, but at any rate, so Alyssa's here with me today, and she's sleeping, and she's going to be our featured baby today, and do remember that my channel is for adults only and adult doll collectors. Uh, sometimes things we discuss I think should just be for adults only, so I'm going to say for people 18 and up. Um, so this, like I stated, this is an adult doll collector and there are many, many of us out there that collect these art dolls and they are not toys. They are for the purpose of collecting and I agree that they are huggable art because each one is one of a kind, even if we all have, you know, even if there's 2000 Laura's out there by Bonnie Brown, and we, of course, we all, some of us maybe, maybe kept their name Laura, some of us have changed their names like I did, or I've named her Alyssa, but the way they're rooted, the way they're painted, uh, by each individual artist, they all have, they all have a different look, and that's what I think is so wonderful and unique about our hobby. Any channels that I have mentioned will be in the description of my video so you just go to that little more button or it might say description and you press that and then it should it should have the channels listed that that i've mentioned so 
how are you? It's Sunday. I think this might become a regular thing. It seems on Sundays I have a little more time. I love to just chat. And I thought, you know, I think I'll just come on and kind of kind of chat, kind of catch up on our week. So for me this week, I had good things happen and I had some eh, things happen. I mean, it's to be expected, but it's not always easy. For example, my kind of kind of sad news or it's sad for me personally is um i have regularly reg ugh, if i could speak i have regular clients that i go and see and i help and i currently have a brand new client i think this will be like my fourth week with her and she really needs help Monday through Thursday. So I've kind of kind of had to give my Mondays off up, but I'm off. I'm going to be talking with work and saying, look, I, I'll need Fridays off then. So, um, but I haven't, I've had a regular Friday client. She's been very ill. She's been in the hospital. This would have been the fourth week, maybe fifth. I think it's the fourth, but I'm not sure. At any rate, it doesn't, doesn't really matter if it's the, the fourth or fifth week. The point is, because her health has declined to a certain point, her family has made the decision that they cannot take care of her at home and they don't want, they don't, they no longer need the company I work for to come in and take care of her. And they are putting her in a nursing home on the skilled nursing side because they feel like that is where she will get the most care. And I know this has not been an easy decision. Um, but it's a little sad because I will miss her. I will miss her two daughters, um, Marie and Linda. I've kind of gotten to know some of Linda's grown children and I have gotten to know her some of her grandchildren and I'm not gonna see them anymore so that's a little sad now I can go visit Loretta and Marie and Linda and I have promised which are Loretta it was my client's name um, and and Marie and Linda are her two daughters and they're about my age um, they have said, you know, we'll keep in touch and we, we can still get together sometimes and things like that. And I would really welcome that. Um, I mean, I am my, my, a very close friend of mine named Sarah. I used to take care of her father. Um, my friend, uh, another friend of mine for a long time after her mother passed we kept in touch but her health has declined to the point that I know I've called and I, know, I don't hear from her so I don't know if she's ill I don't know if she was on vacation but I've called several times and it, the phone just rings and rings and rings and I can't even leave a message so I should call her daughter um, but I have not so at any rate and then I'm still in touch with a gentleman that I had been taking care of every Tuesday and Thursday for nearly two years. Um, and I went and visited him in the assisted living where he is. And I still keep in touch with his wife. So I don't know if we'll ever get together, but at least we chat on the phone. Um, but it's just hard. It's just hard. And really and truly, um, You know, I have remained very close to one, one of the daughters of, of a client of mine. Most others, it seems like we keep in touch for a while and then it's just over. So anyway, so that was my little bit of sad news. But my good news is um, I, pay, I paid my car off. <laughs> so I made my final car payment. Um, and... 
you know, that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. And, um, so I will be now getting my car fixed that, uh, things that she needs done to her and using the car payment money probably to pay that bill or part of it anyway. So anyway, but that was real, that's good news. And that's pretty much been my week. Um, I'm finding that the older I get, kind of the more of a homebody I become. Um, for example, I mean, I worked Thursday when I got off work. I popped in. I visited my parents. Um, you know, had a nice visit with them Friday or Thursday evening. And then came home and I had Friday off. And I had Saturday off and I've had Sunday off and really I've not left the house and I normally go to church on Sundays this week I slept um, I didn't even get up and go to church I will watch an online church service that I quite like I will watch that one today and I think Alyssa will be joining me for that because she's she's doing very well. She's very much sleepy. So that's about it. I really haven't done anything this weekend. I've been kind of rethinking my doll hobby. Um, I think I've, I know I've mentioned this before. I have a doll sculpt that I absolutely love. And why I don't have it yet, I don't know. Because there are other ones I liked and I got before her. And maybe it's because I'm going to have her custom done. So, but I had my idea in my head. And it's very common. And once you see it, you'll be like, oh, that's it. Big deal, Gina. But it means a lot to me. And I had always dreamed with this particular sculpt of having triplets and I wanted identical twin girls and then their fraternal brother and they're all going to be from the same sculpt but now I'm rethinking that because I do have another baby coming probably not until November well I know not until November and I really want to keep the babies that I feature on my channel between 8 to 12. And if I get the triplets and I get one other Ashton Drake doll that I want That'll put me at 11 dolls total, plus the new baby that's coming that I've already told you about that'll be here in November. But I find I really do better both eight and 10, between eight and 10. So I'm like, should I just get the one doll, have her done, and, and it will be a girl? And see if I'm satisfied with that. And then I could keep my collection between 8 and 10. And would I feel more relief? Now that doesn't mean that's all the dolls I have. That means those are the ones I'll feature. And there's a couple others that I could have on maybe a little more often. Because right now I'm actually only featuring six on my channel all the time. But I have eight. Um, eight authentic. Well. Yeah. Well. Seven authentic reborns. One is an Ashton Drake manufactured doll. But. So that makes eight. But I still want that other doll. And I'm still adding another one. And that would be 
10 plus if I add another manufactured Ashton Drake, that's 11, but those would be featured all the time. I have some other dollies that if and when I ever get a doll room, all, most of those are simply going to be display. I'm not going to, I mean, I will show you how they're on display and, and introduce you to, to them, which are some of them I've introduced to you already. You've met them, but I don't show them all the time. But as far as reboards and changing and interacting with them, I'm thinking, you know, I could just have my, I could just have 10 with the two other authentic reborns. Or if I do my triplets, it's going to push me up to 12. Or, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Let me recount that. Six. Well, let, not just count the reborns. So you have five. That would be six. Seven, that would be nine authentic reborns and two, two manufactured, which would be 11. But if I get the triplets, then I'm going to add two more, and that puts me at 13. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. Because I find that when I have 12 dolls out or more and I'm visually seeing them, I feel like my space is cluttered and I can't breathe. I could keep some in the closet like I do now because I don't, I only, I mean currently right now I only have six out. I don't know. We'll see. We will see what happens. But this is what I do. This is this is how, if I'm not reading my book, I think about things like this. And I think about how I need to get my butt in gear. Get my rear end in gear. And start working on my fish aquarium. Because I have what I need now. I had to buy things slowly. But I have what I need now to begin to set it up. And then I just, next week I'll order plants. Or the week after maybe. I'll order some plants. Okay. Um, and I can put those in there. And then I can order, I have all the chemicals. I have everything. Then I can just order my fish. Or go get my fish. So, and then I'll have my fish aquarium. But I'm like dragging my feet on it. And I don't know why, because I usually, it's something I really kind of enjoy. It's like a, you set it all up kind of like you would, in my opinion, like a diorama or a, a, a doll house. And you're doing it in this glass box. And you aquascape it. And you put all your hardscape in, like rocks and, and tree branches and... Or branches, not necessarily tree, but some wood, maybe driftwood, things like that. You get an aesthetic, and then you plant. You, you I like. I have a plan, and I'll have my fertilizer for my stem plants, and I have a fertilizer for my plants that will need nutrients from the water column. And I have an idea in mind of how I want it to look. And I think, okay, you know, um, and it'll be fun. And then once I, you know, like I said, when I get my plants in there, now right now what I can do is I can put all my hardscape in. And I can add my fertilizer that is going to be for my stem plants that'll have actually roots and will go down into the substrate I can get that already and then when my plants come I just put them in and add water and you know I have the light 
The only thing I need is a heater yet before I add fish. That's the other thing. I'll have to add a heater. Um, but I've got the filter. I've got lights. I've got, you know, I've got what I need. And then it's a matter of adding my fish. Um, and that's the other problem. The longer I take doing this, the more often I find that I'm thinking, okay, I'll put these kind of fish in for sure. And I had really decided. And then I watch my fish channels where they show diff they feature different fish species. And I go, oh, wait a minute. I don't have any fish yet. That would be cool. Maybe I should do those fish. <laughs> and I'm not going to have more than one tank because I've tried that in the past and it wasn't for me. I, I, I didn't keep up with the maintenance on the tank the way that I should have because I had uh, multiple tanks and because I had other pets and that my husband was still alive and he had been sick and I was working and so maybe that was part of it too but even still I'm still working and I really love this doll hobby and it takes a lot of time for me so anyway that's all that's going on and I bored you to tears and you probably aren't even going to finish the video probably most of you will watch two or three minutes and turn me off because that's what all the analytics say and that's fine but for those of you who watch to the very end, you have a treat because I have my joke of the day. Those of you who don't watch to the end, you never get to hear my joke unless you fast forward to the very end of my video, which that's probable to, you know, what do I know? You may do that. And here I'm thinking I'm being sneaky, but maybe you don't. Maybe you just... Fast forward, get to the joke, see the intro, say hello, and move on. And that's okay, too. Because to be honest, I'm not here to suddenly become monetized. I'm not here to worry about I need 5,000 subscribers. Or I, if I keep the same amount I have now, and I'm under 400, um... I'm just, I like, I have like 367 subscribers. That's enough. If I pick up one or two more, fine. If I don't, fine. I hope not to lose anybody. But I like that and I like the people who comment regularly. And I know a lot of people often will watch and sometimes they comment and sometimes they don't. And that's okay too. Because um, I'm just here for fun and I'm just here to share my babies with those who want to see them. So, here's the joke for the day. This is a pretty good one. What sounds like a sneeze, but is made of leather? A shoe. Did you get that? A shoe? <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Have a great start to your work week. Take care of yourselves. Love these babies. And I do hope I haven't put you to sleep. Take care, my Dolly friends. And remember, no matter what you're going through, God loves you. And he's always there for you.